Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. I always say you can never have too many chicken recipes. So I thought I'd share with you something I like to make using chicken tenderloins. It's spicy and there's a little sour cream to it, but it's what's on top that's so special. we make a coating for the chicken tenderloins. It's only four ingredients. I have about a cup of plain dry breadcrumbs. Now here's the spice. I'm going to add a good tablespoon, more if you like, of chili powder. Then one teaspoon of salt. and a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Just mix that dry coating all together. I'm just going to dip my chicken tenderloins into the spice mixture and I'm going to fry them in a skillet in olive oil and it has just a little bit of butter in there for flavor. And of course you want to do it in a single layer. And these cook really quickly so they are already ready to turn. And of course the second side only takes just a minute or two to, to brown. Then we're going to add two things. About a half a cup of wine. Dry white wine. I'm just going to pour it over the top like that. And then a half a cup of sour cream. Not a ton. And you just gently work it in like that. Just spread it all over the top. Now we're going to turn it down to simmer and cover it. Just so the chicken can complete cooking, and that's only going to take about 10 minutes. Now is when I want to tell you about that special thing I told you that I put on top of this dish. Very early this morning, here's what I did. I took two or three oranges, and I sliced them thin, as thin as you possibly can. Then I arranged them on parchment paper on a baking sheet. Next, I sprinkle them very, very lightly with salt. Then I mix together a half a cup each of brown sugar and regular sugar. You want to sprinkle that on generously. Now I bake them in a slow oven, a 200 degree oven, for about seven hours. And then I let them cool down and they turn crispy. Here is what they look like. These are dried orange slices, slowly dried in the oven, slightly sweetened. And I'll tell you what these are great for. You can just eat them like this as a snack. What a delicious tasting snack. They're also fabulous, sprinkled on top of fish dishes, of course. And if you did something like an Asian beef orange dish, sprinkle these on top. Put them on top of cheesecake. Put them on a, a top of a hot fudge sundae. I mean, there's a million uses for these. We're ready to serve. Oh, these look fabulous. You know, it's kind of like having chicken fingers with a dip but you've already included the dip. Alright, now I like to do two more things. I like to add a little bit of chopped cilantro 
because that makes for such nice color. And then my crispy orange chips. You just break apart little pieces, sprinkle them over the top, almost like a, a crouton or a nut. And I'll tell you, when you get one of these in a, in a mouthful, it's so delicious. It just makes the dish. I like this a lot.